Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to draw a perpendicular bisector. Now perpendicular bisector and angle bisector are no longer part of the official syllabus. I'll attach a screenshot, you can see for yourself. Then obviously the question is, why are we doing it? Well, you need to know how to draw a perpendicular bisector in order to find out the center of rotation. And I'm gonna show you, not in this video, but another video, how we use perpendicular bisector to find out the center of rotation, which comes in the topic transformation. So let's learn how to draw a perpendicular bisector. And before that, let's understand what exactly is a perpendicular bisector. So if you look at the two words, perpendicular bisector, perpendicular means making a 90 degree angle, Bisect means that it's cutting it into half. So that's exactly what a perpendicular bisector really is. It's a straight line which makes an angle of 90 degrees and passes through the midpoint. You know, it's something that we do in coordinate geometry as well. But in coordinate geometry, we only learn how to find out the equation of perpendicular bisector. So before we actually draw it, let's imagine what the perpendicular bisector of A and B will actually be like. So imagine that A and B are joined by a straight line. Okay, and then imagine that there's a line which is perpendicular to line AB and it's passing from the center, meaning passing from the midpoint of A and B. So that is what the end goal is, okay? So in the end, we can expect something like that. So here's your first step. First step is that you place the pointed side of the compass at B and make sure that you hold your compass firmly. Now, what should be the length of your compass? It should just be more than half of the distance of AB. Now, that doesn't literally mean that you, you know, pull out your scale and you measure and that you make sure that, you know, it's more than half. Just, just do it, you know, by... Uh, I mean, just uh, have just make an estimate that this is probably what the halfway mark. This is somewhere probably uh, a, close to the halfway mark. So more than halfway would be something like this. You know, even if you, even if let's say you, it's not uh, like two thirds or it's not like three quarters. That's perfectly all right. You'll still end up with the same answer. Okay. Now what you want to do is so we imagine the perpendicular bisector to be a line somewhere over here. So what you want to do next is you want to draw arcs. Okay, and don't be um, you know, be um, draw arcs open heartedly. Okay, now don't make like small, small arcs. Just make sure that you are generous with your arcs. So here's an arc. Now make an arc on one side and then make another arc on the opposite side. And like I said, be generous with your arcs. Okay, now once that is done, place your compass, meaning the pointed side on the opposite side. Okay, so now let's place it at A. Make an arc. Okay, and you will notice that the arcs intersect. Okay, so these two arcs intersect and then once again, place it on the opposite side. I mean, make an arc on the opposite side, opposite side and there you go. Now the two points of intersection, you will join them and make a straight line. Okay, so when you join the points where the arcs intersect, you will get a straight line and that straight line will be your perpendicular bisector. So if I join this line, there you go. This is basically what the perpendicular bisector of A and B looks like. So quickly, one more time, let's just clear everything. So what we do is we place the arc at, we place the compass at B, okay? And then we make an arc. So one on this side, one on the other side. Just be generous with your arcs. Don't make very small arcs. Otherwise they won't intersect and then you'll have to intersect. Then without changing the length of your compass, place it on the opposite side, make an arc on this side, make another arc on the opposite side. Then you will have two points and the two points will basically be the points where the pairs of arc intersect. Then you make a straight line by connecting the two points and there you go. What you have is a perpendicular bisector of AB. So I hope it's clear. And in the next video, we're gonna see how we actually use this to find out the center of rotation. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Allah Hafiz.